like the one. What if I told you your favorite song was made secretly from another artist? What the fuck? I'm gonna expose a bunch of rap songs that are either partially made by other rappers or fully made by other rappers. So how I thought of this idea is pretty crazy. So I was looking on Genius and I was looking at a young boy's song and I scrolled all the way down and I saw written by and I was like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. So basically it tells you if a rapper wrote 1% of the song or 100% of the song or the ghostwriter could have wrote like 20%, but it's up to us to figure out. So the first song is I Love It by Kanye West and Lil Pump. And apparently Smoke Perp wrote that song, but personally, I think Smoke Perp just wrote Lil Pump's lyrics. Because Kanye West is a legend. Wake up! He doesn't need someone who can't even freestyle to write his lyrics. Uh, Cut the shit the f off! What is it? But what is he doing? I don't know, I really don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Lil Pump and Smoke Perp are basically the same rapper. Yep. They're both like twins. And I even saw a clip of Smoke Perp saying he wrote most of the lyrics. Yeah, the, the I love his shit. Like, I, I wrote that shit. You wrote it? Yeah. The song is super catchy though, but that doesn't take the fact that you can't even freestyle. If X was here, he'll be like, bro. <laughs> Bad baby. I know she's not really a rapper, she's more like a meme, but I just found this so crazy. Trinidad James wrote one of Bad Baby's songs. Out of everyone, you choose Trinidad James? Trinidad James basically fell off the whole planet. Yes, he only had one hit song, so I really think he wrote the song for Bad Baby. But if Bad Baby really made that song, oh, that just makes you more bad. Yeah, I'm getting to <laughs> A bunch of people already knew this, but I just found this out. Lil Yachty wrote a song for City Girls. What mindset were you in when you wrote that record? Uh oh. That's a classic record. I don't think you understand <laughs> you said, how big that record is. That's a classic so you record. You tried to write a hit. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just, I wasn't in any mindset. To be honest, bro, I just, I just did it. And this was a big deal on Instagram because everyone's calling Lil Yachty sus because he's writing a song for girls about boys. But I think he's just trying to chase the bag. <laughs> Drake and Nav? Question mark? Drake's diss track to Meek Mill. Look at this. Nav has producer credits and writer credits. Maybe he only wrote like 1% of the song. We don't know. But I think since it's a diss track, Drake really wants it from the heart. So he's just gonna say it. So Nav probably had like maybe 10%. Two days later when I woke up, I saw this guy, oh, this Meek again. I'm like, oh, I go to listen to it. I'm like, what the f this is my shit. But besides the lyrics, shout out to Nav for creating the beat. Hood classic. So this next song was a huge banger. It was Rockstar by Post Malone. Apparently Joey made that song, but Joey's a lyricist. He just spits straight bars, and it was a singing song. So I don't really know how it works, but shout out to Joey. Look, when I scroll down, there's even a version of T Pain and Joey. Uh, uh, man, I feel uh, just like a rock star. Star. It's so trippy. So this next song is trippy, bro. It's Gooba from 6 9 Apparently it has writing credits from Truffy or Triffy. Who? I don't really know how to say it. 12 seconds later. Triffy or Triffy, let's just call him Drew. He was on one of 6 9 songs, I forgot what it's called, but it was fire, bro. This guy was spitting. But I think Drew is one of 6 9s ghostwriters. Because if you go to his most recent album, Drew's name is all over the song. Since his name is everywhere, why would they call him back if he's only writing 2%? He's probably writing like 80% or 70 or something. And it's funny how 6 9 keeps bragging about all those hits. These shits just keep coming. You see the fucking bars? And it's three times platinum, but you know what I'm saying? This one just came in two times platinum. Ah, Triffy, wherever you are, I hope you're getting the bag. You remember that hit Unforgettable from French and Sway Lee? Yep. Apparently, The Weeknd has writing credits for it. I don't even know what part he wrote because it just doesn't come into my ear or something. Later. If you guys want me to search up some more songs, comment down below. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on post notifications. Toodles. <laughs> 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 what? I made up a ticket in my first year. Just blessing and a curse. Get reverse it. I want you guys to all be proud of what you do, no matter what you do. Didn't believe it could happen. Didn't believe it could happen. That fuck is a junior nigga who dropped it.